Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian, I'm here today at the Rock Island Auction Company, taking a look at some of the guns that they're going to be selling in their upcoming February of 2017 regional auction. And specifically today we're going to take a look at a just kind of an unusual piece of Astra history. This is an Astra Model 700 Special, and these were only manufactured in 1926 and 1927, uh, although they took several years after that to actually all sell out. Uh, only 4,000 of these were made. And this was an attempt, a further attempt, one of several, by the Astra company to maintain some sort of commercial market after World War I had ended. So of course the Ruby pistol was phenomenally popular in World War I, or maybe not popular, but huge numbers of them were made. Uh, both the French and Italian armies adopted versions of the Ruby pistol, and Astra was one of the large manufacturers of them. So after the war, of course, they're all tooled up to make these ruby pistols, and they want to keep selling them. So they actually renamed the gun the Astra Model 100, and they have a, a similar Astra Model 1000. The 100 is the kind of the ruby-sized uh, pistol, and then the 1000 is a larger version. It has a 12-round magazine in the grip. It's got an extended length grip. And put those on the market, and, and they sold reasonably well. But there were a lot of competitor pistols out there. And one of the popular ones was the Browning model of 1910, or the FN model 1910, which looks kind of like this. Uh, in 26, Astra decided to try and capitalize on the popularity of the FN 1910 by making a version of their own pistol that looked the same, and in about halfway operated the same. So this was, I think, largely intended for sale in China, where they, they knew that people were, were not going to be probably highly conversant on the exact uh, European firearms manufacturers, and if it looked like an FN, it might sell like an FN. So what they did was redesign this so the nose end looks like the 1910, although mechanically it's still all uh, ruby. Um, the, it still has a hammer in the back where the FN had a striker. And once, a, once we open it up, uh, you'll recognize all the ruby components in there. Just taking a look at this up close, you can see the similarity up here to the FN 1910, but you can also see the similarity back here to the Ruby, and it does share all the standard Ruby controls. So our safety is here on the middle of the frame, that's fire, that's safe. Uh, magazine release is down here at the heel, very much like a standard um, Ruby style Astra pistol. Uh, standard magazine held 9 rounds, you could also get an extended 12 round magazine which just stuck out. Uh, below the bottom of the grip. They, they did that 12 round pistol because they recognized that larger capacity magazines were proving popular in China. Taking a look at the markings here, on the left side of the slide we have Astra 700 Special Cal 765, which is 32. This is 32 ACP, or in uh, Europe, as it's better known, 7.65 millimeter Browning. We have our Spanish proof marks back here. Standard uh, set of three proof marks there. On the right side we have a serial number on the frame and the slide. Now I said they only made 4,000, this is a 400,000 serial number. That is because these started at 400,001 and went up to 404,000. So this one's the 3810th pistol of these that was manufactured. So actually right, right at the very end of production. And then we also have some standard Astra markings on the barrel there, 765 millimeter, and the word hope. Uh, that hope is an interesting thing. Uh, the actual formal name of this company was Unceta y Esperanza, and Esperanza translates into hope in English, and so they put that on the barrels. Disassembly starts like an FN 1910. We have this spring retainer at the muzzle. Just push that in and rotate 90 degrees, and if I do it right, there we go. Retainer comes out, the spring is actually quite tight on the barrel. Hold it. At this point disassembly becomes just like a ruby, so I'm going to go ahead and engage the slide stop and pull the slide back to this position. I can then rotate the barrel uh, about 180 degrees and then take the slide stop off and slide this assembly off the front of the gun. Now we can rotate the barrel the rest of the way and pull it out. Looking in the back of the pistol here you can see the hammer. It is a concealed or shrouded hammer. And 
there it is in the fired position. This is exactly the same system as in the rubies, and I'm sure Astra just used the same tooling that was already in place and working. This bar of course is the ejector, it's going to hit the empty case when, it, when the slide comes back and knock it out of the gun. Not a whole lot going on in the slide, we have this milled out area for the hammer with the firing pin right there at the back, firing pin is going to come out the front. It is a spring loaded firing pin, nice, nice little uh, safety feature there. There you have one completely disassembled Astra Model 700 Special. So these didn't turn out to be all that popular in China, obviously they only made those 4,000 of them, and in 1927 Astra was looking at introducing, or just starting to introduce its Model 900 pistols, which were kind of a, an aesthetic copy of the broom handle Mauser, the C96. That proved to be far more popular in China, and so they transitioned away from this and into the Model 900. Now it's also relevant to note that while this is the Model 700 Special, there was also a standard Model 700 uh, that was produced in 1945, following the, the pattern of later Astra pistols, where they had the 300 and the 400 and the 600 and the 700. So the 700 is a kind of a, a tubular frame uh, gun like the Model 600, but that is a subject for another video. If you would like to have this particular one yourself, uh, take a look at the description text below. You'll find a link there to the Rock Island catalog page on this pistol. It is being sold by itself, so unlike many of the lots in their regional auctions, this is just a single gun. You can take a look at their catalog, um, at their pictures and description and their price estimate, and if you decide that it's something that you would like to have yourself, you can place a bid right there on their website. Thanks for watching.